This is functional horsemanship, and this is for a young lady who wrote me about a horse uh, who doesn't have to back up. So every time she gets him in a trailer, she can't get in the back. He wants to turn around, uh, pulls his own head around, and ends up stepping out the trailer uh, opposite than he, than he came in. You know that's a that's pretty dangerous. A horse can get stuck in a trailer. You certainly want that horse to back. But when they come out of the womb and they're and they're, they're little foals. They don't have that backing skill. It's not an innate skill. It's an unnatural gait form. So you got to help them learn how to back. And it's, it's like with anything else, it's pressure release. I have Junior here, and he doesn't like to back at all. He's really a tough horse to back. But uh, when I want him to back, I'm going to put some pressure on him and then tell him to back. Use the word back. 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 And as soon as he takes a step, I'm going to release that pressure. Again, pressure and release. Back. Release him. Back. Release. Again, it's pressure and release. You're probably going to be doing this under a, halt, a halter. I would suggest, you know, five minutes a day, ten minutes a day with your horse under halter. Teach him this will be will work good. You may have to use a little bit of a additional pressure if he doesn't want to back. I'm going to put a little pressure. Back. Step up. There you go. Back. Okay. Just a little bit of pressure like that. You can use a little crop stick and tap him, and it'll take a step back. If you, you you should be able to back him just on your mo just on your motion uh, and pressure without the verbal. Use some pressure and release every time he takes a step. I'm releasing. Okay. The better your horse backs, the better he's going to do anything else. What that that translates to the ground, backing him on the ground is. When you get in the saddle, is that same pressure, albeit maybe from a different angle. Pressure, back. Squeeze it with my legs, as well as apply a little pressure to that nose bend on that hackamore. Again, go back like this. And I'm going to reward or release that pressure on that smallest try. Do it again. Back, release, pressure, release, pressure, release. And the alternate thing you may want to do is if he doesn't back too well under pressure like that, especially if you're riding a hack or maybe you may even ride him in a halter for all I know, is to, uh, on, on roping reins or reins you're going, to be, you're going to be using a direct rein on him, you can rather than apply direct pressure like this, you can scissors the pressure or alternate pressure with your hands like this. So it would look like this. Back, release, back, release, back, release, back, release. Okay. When your horse does that, I think he's going to be a lot more able to step out of your trailer. A couple other things you may want to look at is how high your trailer is. If you have a really high trailer, it may be hard for him to step up in there. Now I'm going to show you one thing to do to help your horse back out of a trailer. It may help you. As I back him out, I'm going to help him find his way. I'm going to give him a verbal cue. Uh, that allows him to know when he has to do a step off. Okay, back, back, step. There you go. Yep. <laughs> if he successfully backs out of a trailer for it, Continue that lesson a couple more times so it's uh, he gets a better feel. He's going to be better every time he does it. One more time. Back. Step. 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 
every time they back, it's just going to make them that much better of a horse. And I hope that helps you. Have a safe journey.